uh, yeah, welcome everybody on uh, today's session. Uh, mm, uh, my name is uh, uh, Robert uh, mm, Marcinkowski. I'm representing the uh, mm, company Infraberg Digitizing, which is a gold Bentley channel partner. Uh, we are located in Poland, in Warsaw. Uh, we also operate on Ukraine. Uh, mm, uh, so, uh, mm, uh, we have quite big uh, mm, experience with uh, mm, uh, Bentley uh, software. Uh, mm, I, I'm staying at the uh, mm, uh, virtual uh, booth, uh, mm, so you can meet us here. Uh, my avatar uh, is staying uh, there, so if you if you would like to contact me after the uh, presentation, uh, please do not hesitate. Uh, uh, there are contact details, uh, etc. Et uh, so it will be easy uh, to reach me out. <clears throat> uh, so uh, the the topic of uh, uh, my presentation is in general. Uh, um, uh, talking about uh, mm, Bentley uh, mm, site, road, and rail software. Uh, so, uh, mm, and in the context of mm, digitalization, it means that mm, every mm, aspect of our uh, life today is uh, mm, uh, in center, uh, certain. Uh, mm, stage of digitalization uh, and also uh, our engineering world uh, mm, uh, uh, is going to uh, be uh, mm, a digital uh, so mm, uh, let's uh, mm, uh, have a look at the uh, nice uh, mm, uh, diagram which i really like mm, uh, mm, uh, because mm, what in case of uh, mm, uh, planning, designing, and constructing uh, mm, sites, project, uh, roads, project, rail projects, the current practice of uh, mm, uh, mm, digital process is, looks like uh, with the red line. It means that we have <coughs> uh, mm, software doing some uh, project, uh, mm, digital projects, then we, we print the paper and the <coughs> uh, mm, uh, uh, there is a drop on this red line uh, and on each stage uh, mm, uh, it is repeatable. It means uh, mm, that at the end of the day, at the end of the project, uh, mm, we are almost uh, mm, at the beginning of, uh, mm, in case of the digitalization, of course, at the beginning of the, of the, of the road. Uh, so mm, it is better practice. To, to, <clears throat> uh, mm, there is a better practice to smooth this, uh, this line. Uh, it means mm, that mm, uh, we uh, try to eliminate the paper from the <clears throat> from the process uh, and uh, mm, uh, create our project with accordance to the mm, processes uh, called BIM, building information uh, mm, modeling. Uh, mm, and uh, why I'm talking about it? Uh, mm, because uh, open roads and the family of products, open site, open rail designer, are mm, uh, designed uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, in order to meet those requirements. I mean, the BIM requirements. And even further, uh, <clears throat> we, uh, we are trying to address <clears throat> uh, mm, uh, mm, the next level of uh, digitalization, call it uh, mm, digital twin, which I a little bit uh, talk more of, uh, a little bit later. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, this is uh, mm, uh, how we try to uh, design open roads uh, mm, to meet this digital uh, uh, digital workflows. So if we if we look at this um, uh, simple uh, picture, um, usually in the, it, in the in the past it had started from the cut. Uh, um, uh, then we talked about the uh, beam, and as we said, uh, uh, Bentley uh, um, and Bentley solutions is uh, um, are going a little bit further. Uh, we call it digital twin, and a lot of companies use this uh, term uh, for 
uh, mm, uh, developing uh, mm, their software uh, mm, in that direction. So uh, what is a digital twin? Mm, uh, simply digital twin is a digital representation of your project. And this is really challenging to, uh, to create workflows, uh, mm, uh, standards, uh, mm, uh, et cetera, for closing the loop at each stage of the project, like construction, uh, like planning, design, construction, and operation, uh, mm, and keep up to date the, uh, your uh, digital representation of um, the project. It means that at every stage, when you look at your um, model and project, it should looks the same like real assets. It's really challenging, but the <clears throat> uh, mm, uh, mm, every aspect of uh, mm, open roads, open drain, and open site development uh, uh, is done having this mm, uh, idea in mind. As, uh, mm, as I uh, hope you will see uh, during uh, mm, my presentation. Uh, so, Let's have a look how open roads fits into those ideas. Uh, mm, uh, mm, I mean, cut, beam, and digital twin. <clears throat> so for today, I have, mm, of course, we have limited time. Uh, so I have uh, mm, decided to uh, mm, uh, list five points uh, in, in case of open roads designer uh, functionality, uh, um, showing you how open roads designer can solve your critical beam business issues. <clears throat> and we will uh, went through, uh, um, we will go through uh, um, all the points uh, um, with some uh, um, examples showing how open roads can help you to meet those requirements. And of course, uh, there is a business aspect uh, mm, means that, uh, mm, uh, that what we do uh, mm, is mm, uh, to solve your business issue. So let's start with the first one. There is a design with reality context mm, and uh, mm, what is important here, uh, mm, one aspect is big data is impacting each design life cycle, uh, li uh, life cycle process. Uh, why? Because mm, uh, as you know, uh, in order to uh, mm, uh, do any uh, infrastructure project, uh, you need to take information about the terrain and usually uh, mm, it demands a lot of data. And open roads is mm, very flexible uh, mm, for, uh, mm, different, for handling different types of, of uh, mm, uh, data uh, ab ab about terrain. Uh, mm, uh, <clears throat> and we still are expand, uh, expanding uh, mm, different data types, which are the standard on the market. And <clears throat> let's have a look. Mm, at the example. So, um, as I told, the, the terrain is a, um, a um, basic information uh, um, which design process starts from uh, um, and uh, um, open, uh, uh, open roads designer, open ray designer, and open site designer are able to handle a different, different type of data like <clears throat> point clouds starting from, for example, from point clouds, you can uh, mm, attach uh, mm, uh, point clouds data to uh, open roads designer without any additional application. It's a mm, built-in uh, uh, functionality. Uh, you can attach reality mesh, uh, mm, uh, mm, which Gerard uh, talked about. Uh, mm, this can be, uh, mm, if this is created uh, in context capture, it's uh, very easy. Uh, mm, you just uh, uh, attach as uh, 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 reference file uh, without any conversion. Uh, you can even attach it from the cloud if you uh, mm, keep it in the cloud. Uh, mm, uh, so there is no need of up uploading it to your uh, to your disk. Uh, you can uh, mm, uh, mm, 
uh, information about the uh, terrain, you can uh, attach uh, any rasters, for example, orthophoto maps that can be in an example. Uh, you can, uh, uh, for example, create the uh, digital terrain model uh, from uh, uh, from point clouds or reality mesh, depends on what you want to achieve. Uh, and uh, uh, this, those all functions are built in, in the software. And finally, you, you receive uh, the uh, digital terrain uh, model. Uh, um, you can also uh, um, uh, import uh, um, raw survey data from different uh, um, uh, type of equipment. Like, uh, and, uh, from uh, different vendors like Topcon, uh, um, Leica, etc., uh, um, directly to, to Open Roads uh, um, uh, designer. And um, uh, moreover, uh, um, as you can see here, there is even functionality <coughs> uh, which allows uh, to uh, um, uh, attach the data from, uh, um, core. of course, all the data are uh, geo-coordinated. So, uh, um, and uh, here there is an example uh, from geo-coordination service where you can upload uh, um, uh, variety models direct directly to open roads from this service. Uh, um, of course, <clears throat> uh, it depends on the uh, um, data availability ar around the world. Uh, um, <clears throat> there is, uh, I'm sure there is uh, um, uh, no reality models in each uh, um, part of the world, but when it is available, you can do download uh, um, uh, it uh, uh, from this service directly to Open Roads uh, um, uh, Designer. Uh, also, uh, um, uh, services like Bing Map can be um, uh, uh, utilized in Open Roads uh, um, Designer as uh, as simple as uh, um, part of the view. You can just switch it. Uh, as a background, switch it, uh, switch it on or switch it off, uh, depends on your needs. Uh, <clears throat> so it's very convenient um, to, uh, um, to uh, um, have a broad context of your uh, um, project uh, um, uh, in Open Roads Designer. Uh, so the next point is uh, mm, uh, model design intent. Oh, so here, uh, mm, let's have a look. And mm, first, mm, so when, when in general, when we have the digital terrain model, the terrain model, the next topic is the geometry, creating the geometry, right? Uh, so in general, in open road design and in open array designer, geometry is mm, parametric. It means that everything what you create uh, in, uh, in open roads is param uh, parametra, uh, parametric. Uh, um, what, what is the value of, of such approach? The value is simple because every project uh, um, uh, um, is um, uh, iterated. I mean, it needs um, every project uh, um, almost every day is changing. So. Uh, when you have a parametric, uh, uh, for example, geometry or uh, <clears throat> other components, uh, to adopt this change, it's having parametric, uh, for example, geometry, it's easy because you just change the parameter and uh, um, your geometry is adopted to, uh, uh, to the new conditions. Uh, so this is dy dynamic. Uh, uh, mm, uh, interactive and more moreover rule uh, uh, based. What does what does it mean? It means when you, <coughs> for example, create the <coughs> uh, center line of uh, one road and uh, mm, another road will be perpendicular to the first road, uh, mm, and it's your intent. It means uh, mm, software remember this intent, and when you edit. In this geometry, this let's say constraint is uh, mm, software is keeping. So <clears throat> when you move, for example, uh, mm, uh, mm, the perpendicular mm, 
uh, alignment along the the first uh, center line. It's keeping uh, mm, uh, in perpendicular way. And by the way, mm, you can see here at this uh, mm, presentation that uh, mm, uh, uh, displaying uh, mm, your project results uh, mm, uh, is uh, mm, on the fly. Uh, so if you create, for example, 3D uh, around about like uh, here on the right uh, uh, mm, screen, it's simply displaying. And uh, mm, there is no need of uh, mm, uh, mm, special uh, generation or, or opening the special view, just opening the 3D view. And uh, mm, if, the, if you, uh, you have uh, mm, assigned materials to, to your components, uh, this event is displaying with uh, in in a real way. Uh, so, <clears throat> in engineering world, the next topic. Let's say uh, mm, uh, mm, in engineering world, uh, mm, we know that standards are very important, right? And moreover, uh, mm, the projects are complicated uh, and. Uh, mm, uh, checking all uh, standards for all geometries, all uh, mm, elements of your projects uh, uh, manually is very, very uh, hard to, uh, mm, to do. So software has <coughs> uh, tools for uh, mm, uh, checking automatically your uh, chosen standards. Uh, mm, and uh, mm, there is uh, message center, which is uh, mm, giving you uh, mm, information if something is wrong. For example, if the arc of uh, <clears throat> your alignment is not meeting your minimum requirements, this is reported. And then you can act, changing it or uh, mm, leaving it by purpose, uh, mm, etc. Uh, mm, so, uh, <clears throat> mm, shortly, the design standards are under control and software is taking care of it. And you see uh, here, there is a mm, uh, mm, corridor uh, mm, because when you have uh, mm, uh, digital theory model, you have created the geometry. I mean, the horizontal uh, mm, geometry, vertical geometry. Uh, and then the next step is creating the corridor. Uh, all is uh, intelligent, what does it mean intelligent? Intelligent it means parametric. Uh, mm, uh, it's in real time design. So when you assign like here, you, uh, you see the template, <coughs> uh, mm, automatically the software is creating the 3D, the, your corridor in 3D. So <coughs> you, in real, almost in real time, you see uh, the feedback of your project in 3D. Uh, and as I mentioned, when uh, you have uh, mm, uh, defined materials to, mm, to your components, uh, mm, uh, mm, you see uh, uh, those materials uh, mm, in 3D view. Uh, <clears throat> for example, uh, if, if to the pavement component uh, mm, uh, in, in the template, uh, there is assigned asphalt, you see in 3D view uh, your pavement with asphalt. And <clears throat> here you, you, can, you can see that everything is mm, uh, dynamic. So it means mm, that uh, when you want to edit, for example, the the station of your bridge, uh, mm, uh, you can just uh, mm, drag uh, uh, the beginning of, in this case, I believe it's end of the bridge, uh, mm, and uh, mm, everything is mm, in real time uh, recalculated, and uh, mm, you are getting uh, up to date, uh, your model up to date. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, and next, next thing uh, are so-called in open roads designers civil cells. 
Uh, there are a lot of in uh, engineering world. There are uh, there are a lot of uh, repeatable modeling uh, typical uh, elements like, uh, for example, uh, cross sections. In this case, uh, this example is showing roundabout. Uh, so uh, um, each time when you want to uh, um, uh, to design, for example, roundabout, uh, there is a lot of work. In fact, to, because uh, mm, such elements have complicated geometry, so why why <clears throat> to do it each it, it, mm, each time? It's better to use uh, so-called civil cells. It's, uh, mm, uh, mm, mm, it's such geometry uh, uh, saved to the library and uh, mm, for reusing. So it means when you create uh, mm, like in this example. Uh, the uh, 3D roundabout uh, um, cell, you can uh, um, uh, upload it to your civil cell library and reuse for the next uh, roundabout. Uh, it can be uh, such sim uh, as simple as 2D geometry, uh, but also it can be uh, um, uh, it can be uh, even the 3D uh, um, element. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, mm, moreover, moreover, when you uh, uh, mm, uh, mm, put this uh, uh, civil cell to your project uh, mm, as a second, third uh, mm, roundabout in this case, etc., after uh, inserting this to, to your project, you can uh, mm, edit it because it's still parametric, right? So. If, if you want to add up to the new, a little bit to the new uh, location, this civil cell, you can just simply click on, for example, on the geometry of the uh, uh, curve and change your radius from, for example, 10, met 10, 10 meters to 15, etc. So this is very, very uh, um, powerful uh, um, uh, tool uh, um, and uh, um, save your time for a repeatable uh, um, uh, designing and modeling. Okay, and next topic, uh, um, which we believe is very important, is multidisciplinary integration. There is no project, um, uh, infrastructure project, consisting only from uh, um, uh, one discipline, right? Everybody, I believe, agree with me. And the, the one of the biggest challenge is to coordinate uh, 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 several disciplines uh, uh, together. And moreover, when, when uh, each discipline is using different software, uh, there is no standards, etc., etc. Uh, uh, we believe that open roads. Um, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> address quite well uh, mm, uh, this point, I mean, multidisciplinary workflows. Uh, mm, as you can see here, uh, mm, uh, there are models already uh, uh, finished, uh, like from the uh, uh, mm, uh, road corridor, uh, mm, a roundabout model, they are uh, uh, attached, attached to, 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 to one file as a reference files. Uh, mm, another model is a parking lot from OpenSight. You can see here, it's uh, uh, designed with an open, uh, mm, uh, OpenSight designer. Uh, there is open building station designer model. Uh, mm, this is mm, Bentley application for uh, mm, uh, dedicated for uh, designing uh, sta uh, stations, rail stations, you can see here. And also, uh, we will attach uh, mm, uh, from open rail uh, mm, the corridor, uh, mm, the rail corridor, <laughs> with the rails and full uh, model. You can see on the right. And <clears throat> such uh, mm, uh, mm, multi multidisciplinary uh, mm, uh, model can be published, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, drawings can be created. Uh, mm, so mm, this is uh, mm, quite, quite uh, easy. 
I believe it, um, it's worth to mention here that um, uh, Bentley has available um, plugins for uh, um, third party software like uh, um, uh, Civil 3D, Revit, uh, and others uh, um, for publishing uh, um, projects, for example, from Civil 3D to iModel, uh, to Bentley iModel. Uh, um, so it means that, for example, if you, part of your project or one of the discipline uh, is created in third party software uh, 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 other than Bentley, uh, uh, you can uh, um, uh, publish it to the format which uh, um, uh, Bentley software is uh, um, consuming and attach to your project. So uh, this is, this is very powerful. And let's see how such multidisciplinary uh, um, uh, project can be uh, reviewed because, uh, because it's also a challenge to uh, pub publish uh, such, such data. And what you can see here is so-called open roads iTwin uh, 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 iTwin. Uh, um, it means that from uh, um, when you uh, when we when we created such uh, multidisciplinary project in um, open roads, uh, then you can um, publish uh, uh, all the model uh, um, using iTwin synchronizer. It's a <clears throat> it's a free tool uh, from Bentley uh, to the to the um, cloud and to the web format. Here you see it's a web application when you can review your project. It, um, you can create the profile, uh, you can create the cross section, uh, you can uh, um, put uh, um, comments. Uh, um, they look like uh, um, uh, messages in iPhone, uh, something like this. So very familiar for most of the uh, um, people and usually uh, um, uh, reviewers are not very familiar with the uh, um, origin application, so it's uh, this uh, web application application is very simple, uh, <clears throat> just for uh, re uh, reviewing the data, uh, uh, displaying the data, and uh, um, putting all the comments. And moreover, moreover, which uh, <clears throat> we have already tested it because it's quite uh, a new application. Uh, um, there is a functionality for comparing. First of first of all, I should say that uh, this ap application is keeping uh, um, uh, your model always um, up to date. So it means you, uh, it's giving you the information if you, uh, the model you, uh, you open is uh, um, the newest one. Uh, um, and if it is confirmed, you are receiving the information. You have the latest version of your model, which is uh, uh, very important during the review process. And uh, um, then you can even uh, um, compare your uh, latest version of the model to the previous one. And the software is showing you uh, what has changed, what, what was removed and what was added. Uh, um, so this is, this is very powerful and uh, um, really addressing uh, um, uh, the uh, 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 digital iTwin uh, um, workflows. Um, and uh, uh, when, uh, uh, when you create your project, uh, when you review your project, at the end of the day, you need to deliver your, uh, your project to the client, to, the, um, to other people you cooperate with. Uh, so uh, um, another important uh, uh, business issue is, uh, is project de uh, deliverables. So, Open road designer, open rail, open site, that, that's the same family of the products. Uh, have uh, traditional tools for 2D plans uh, and reports. Uh, um, the, you, of course, are uh, um, creating uh, engineered 3D models. Uh, um, it means, what, what does it mean? Engineered, engineered uh, um, uh, has several aspects. It means there are um, uh, very accurate, right, and uh, parametric, and 
another point very important uh, in the aspects, especially in the aspect of uh, uh, BIM work workflows and uh, uh, digital ITWIN workflows uh, is model attribution. So let's see uh, uh, what you can achieve in Open Roads Designer. <clears throat> First of all, uh, in case of drawing production. So uh, we use the same project. It's the multidisciplinary project. When you simply uh, place sheets uh, uh, in plan in, the, in that case, uh, um, so um, you have full control of how long the sheets are, uh, um, how big uh, they are, uh, how they change on the arc, because usually on the arc uh, we need uh, 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 different uh, um, sheets. And uh, um, then you create this, uh, uh, also sheets on the profile. You can see it's automatic process, uh, automatically changing the, uh, um, the level, uh, Z level uh, um, of your uh, um, frames uh, um, in the sheets. And when, when you create the boundaries, the software is creating the, the, uh, uh, the sheets. And you can see all the sheets are indexed. It's very important uh, because you can, um, uh, mm, very easy to find it, uh, mm, uh, delete, remove, uh, edit, etc. At, at this example, you see the sheet with uh, plan view and the profile view, but of course you can uh, create it uh, as independent uh, mm, uh, uh, sheets. I mean, profile view and uh, plan view. And here uh, you see uh, you see the mm, uh, cross section uh, mm, uh, views and. Uh, mm, uh, you can, and we are, uh, and we create the uh, sheets, cross section sheets. <clears throat> of course, there are a lot of tools for annotating it, uh, managing it. You can annotate this uh, data in the table below, below your uh, cross section. Uh, you can annotate it on the <clears throat> directory on the, the projects. But uh, please note that you, if you have the three D model of your uh, um, of your projects, multidisciplinary project, uh, um, on the cross section, uh, uh, everything is cut, right? And uh, um, even if you attach the model from, uh, for example, Revit, uh, um, uh, you uh, uh, this this part of your, of of the project will be cut and displayed on the on the uh, cross uh, uh, So uh, you, uh, it was shown uh, also we support uh, um, drainage profiles and uh, um, uh, drawings uh, um, for uh, uh, drainage uh, um, uh, sheeting. So let's have a look um, also at uh, some tools just as an example for analytics. Uh, one of important uh, aspects in road design and rail design uh, um, is site visibility. Uh, um, so there is a dedicated tool for checking the site visibility. This is of course based on 3D model. So uh, um, it's checking the visibility in 3D. I, like uh, you can see here, uh, that uh, uh, because of the barrier uh, on the bridge, uh, the uh, visibility uh, doesn't meet your uh, defined requirements. So there is a problem here and it is reported in red. Uh, uh, you can display the, uh, the area where the issue is. You can report it. Uh, uh, all the reports in Open Roads Designer are uh, based on XML. Uh, um, uh, file, so it, it's, it means it's easy for uh, adopting, uh, displaying uh, uh, data uh, to adopt to your uh, needs. Uh, uh, so this is uh, um, very beneficial. Uh, and um, another important aspect, of course, is um, uh, um, uh, is, is calculating the volumes. Uh, and the, there are two, two aspects of uh, uh, volumes. Uh, as we know, uh, 
uh, when we have a very precise 3D model, <laughs> the, the more, more precise uh, way of uh, calculating uh, uh, volumes are volumetric methods. It means based on a 3D model and even 3D multidisciplinary model. So you, in one report, you can have uh, uh, um, uh, raid volumes, uh, side volumes, and uh, um, roads volumes. Uh, um, but uh, um, still uh, around the world, uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, investors demands uh, um, old way of uh, uh, calculating the volumes. Uh, it's called and area volumes based on course sections. Uh, so just to tell you, uh, um, uh, this example sh was uh, um, shown based on volumetric methods. It means uh, based on 3D model, but uh, um, software also support uh, um, uh, support uh, um, uh, all uh, method uh, based on cross section. It's called and area volume method. And at the end, you it was shown um, uh, um, how to create a mass hall uh, um, report and diagrams for uh, mm, better, uh, mm, uh, mm, better uh, mm, planning of your uh, mm, uh, construction. And uh, mm, I uh, mm, told you that one of the aspects, uh, mm, especially in case of uh, mm, beam requirements is uh, beam attribution. So there is a special tool in open road designer uh, mm, called asset manager when you can define a, a set of attributes uh, mm, uh, and attached to any component and element uh, mm, uh, mm, to uh, uh, mm, build better information about your uh, project and uh, or usually uh, to meet the standards of the investor which requires uh, mm, uh, to des describe your, your your project in a special way with the special attributes. So there is no limits for creating uh, uh, um, custom attributes and attach them to the to the to the project. And when, <clears throat> of course, when you uh, um, uh, um, uh, have such uh, attributes, you can create reports. Uh, um, and in fact, you are re uh, um, getting very quickly the quantities. And the <clears throat> reports can be uh, uh, exported to the Excel file. It's, there, are, there are a lot of uh, different ways, but here it's, uh, uh, you can see uh, the, uh, the table uh, put in directly into the software to the DGN file. Uh, and in fact, it is edited like in Excel. Uh, so uh, you see, um, uh, in this example, different types of, uh, of curve, right? Uh, and uh, uh, design line, uh, length of each uh, uh, reported uh, curve. Uh, uh, so um, that's, that's also very powerful, uh, very powerful uh, uh, um, a tool for reporting the quantities, which is all, all, always the part of, uh, of the projects. And here, uh, um, you can see Bentley has recent, recently acquired a company which has a software called SignCut, It is for creating designs in your projects and has already integrated with open roads. It means that directly from the software, there is a functionality which allows you to create, um, uh, put the, the, the signs to, directly to your projects. Uh, um, but as far as I know at the moment, uh, 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 the standards of, uh, uh, of the signs and uh, um, all those needed lines, etc., are limited to the US market at the moment. But, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, but uh, mm, uh, we, we can expect it will be uh, mm, expanded to different countries. But as, as you can see, uh, mm, it's even not uh, mm, very easy uh, mm, to create the 3D uh, mm, uh, mm, representation of the, of the uh, signs in your project and uh, mm, 
in real time you have uh, visual feedback. And uh, another part of your project uh, is visualization. Uh, usually uh, you, uh, uh, you need to, uh, to sell it, uh, your project. Uh, so uh, um, there is built-in tool uh, in Open Road Designer for uh, um, uh, visualization. It's called Lumen RT uh, um, uh, because um, uh, it was another software which Bentley has acquired a few years ago and integrated with Open Roads. As you can see here, our project, multidisciplinary project, uh, mm, uh, mm, has been mm, uh, exported to Lumen RT uh, mm, format, right? And uh, mm, uh, it was it, it's it's a very easy and hand, handy handy software. As you can see, you are uh, it's very easy to add uh, mm, uh, traffic uh, mm, trees like here. Uh, and uh, create the animation or uh, mm, very uh, high quality pictures. It supports uh, for 4K, uh, mm, so um, you can really quite easy uh, way create uh, mm, and uh, animate and visualize your uh, mm, project. Believe me or not, but it's very easy uh, and powerful software. Here is a full. Uh, mm, animation created with this. Tool. So, in summary, I hope I have convinced you that Open Roads Designer uh, uh, is able to solve your critical business issues thanks to the functionality uh, mm, which allows you to design within a uh, reality context and uh, mm, allows you rapidly model uh, with design intent, integrate multidisciplinary projects and improve project de deliveries and finally visualize your uh, designs. And mm, I'm sure that uh, mm, if you implement the open roads in your work workflows, it will help you at every stage of your project. Thank you for your time, and I hope uh, it was very interesting for you. And uh, mm, if you have uh, any question, uh, mm, please do not hesitate to ask. I will do my best to address uh, mm, them uh, mm, for you. Коллеги, подскажите, возможно, есть у кого-то вопросы? Вы можете поднять руку, мы э, вас переведем, отдадим возможность говорить голосом, и вы сможете задать вопрос. Пока у нас две минуты паузы для перехода спикеров. А, Даша, подскажи, пожалуйста, спикер сейчас с нами, следующий. Нет, дальше у нас обеденный перерыв, и начинаем мы потом. А, и... Все, отлично. Тогда у нас есть блок вопросов. Роберт, we, uh, we have now its uh, questions, it's uh, from our uh, participants, but it's only two minutes, maybe uh, our participant can uh, ask you, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm uh, looking at the chat, but uh, unfortunately they are in uh, uh, Russian language and that's... <laughs> uh, uh, I can't understand. Yes, it's okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Ok.
we have now it's uh, lunch. After the lunch, we return to this uh, room. Uh, please, thanks for your time.